Go on and catch up, Mr. Jay, lad. Catch and I'm catching up. But we've done lots, haven't we? But... Fish is in your peg, as usual. But how's that my peg? It's like the opposite yeah. side of the lake. It yeah, have... well, no, Jay. It was... Who's... No, no, no. Right, shut up. Who's done a lot? You've done a lot of fishing. You've done... I've not... You've I've... been once. Yeah. But anyway, we're doing catch up time. We're not... We've done a lot of silverfish fishing. Yeah, we are. We're not going to tell them about that because we're going to do a whole separate thing on our silverfish quest. Which, yeah. The mission. It's not going too well at the minute, but, you know, we'll get no. there, won't we? Yeah, I've nearly mic dropped it and swerved it. But yeah. let's not go to that. So I'm going to talk about the Drennan Winter Masters that I've just fished at Tunnel Bar Farm. Yes, another good event. So it's like similar proper. to the Daiwa Masters, isn't it, J-Lab? It is, exactly from... the same, just colder. Yeah, but it's not been, has it? It's probably been warmer yeah. than what it was in Blooming Summer for you, to far be fair. Off. It has been unreal, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah Mum. Two of the three days were a Sammy T-shirt. Like, ridiculous two of the three days. Last night got a bit windier. But anyway, we'll talk about that. So, yeah, um, for those who don't know, same sort of thing as Daiwa Masters at Tunnel Barn Farm. I think there were 113 people on it, I'm going to say. I'm sure there were 113. Oh, that, so, big old event. Yeah, yeah. You've got to win a six or seven peg section. One of the least points wins the festival. The and bloody bloody. is it a random draw each day? Or you yes. change it? Right, okay. So, yes. you can draw the same peg three I days. I like that. They've done that a few years on a row now on the Daiwa Masters. It used to be the, you're staying the same, mm. but now it's not, and I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like the random draw because anything can happen. Yeah, definitely. Who knows yeah. what? So it was very, very, very good. Um, what are we going to go into, yeah? Lots of fishing to be caught. Yeah, it was weird though, because I hadn't been. Was so it I'd... nice, sort of like patient and think about it fishing, or was it, you it, know, if you're on a bit of all get... sorts. Every right. day was different. Every day was different. So anyway, first day I've drawn 15 on you. Well, I've never, ever drawn. I've drawn you pool, right? All, all the, time. the time. So you've got that arm coming up and then the early pegs. Where's 15 at? You've got your back where to I was in the fish show, wasn't it? Oh, it could have been. When I was like 10 for 11, fella. Yeah, yeah, I think so it was. Well, you got your back to the other lake, yes. A decade ago, but yeah. Yeah, I've never drawn that straight though, ever in my life. Have you not? And I've been on Newpool a Lots. thousand times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time I've drawn there. I was reasonably happy. I'm going to have a whinge. I never like whinging about pegs. Pegging. The only thing I wasn't happy about, I was on 15. On that little straight, there was 13, 15, 17, so three of us on that straight. Peg 10 was in, great as it should be, but then one and seven, there was no one in between them. All oh, right, so one's a good one on the point opposite. One's yeah. on the point, seven's seven. mega peg that in the bay. Is that you qualified for? Is that, that's wrong. No, I, I once won a fish off peg four, which that should have been I was in. Gonna say, right, I felt like I should have been on peg yeah, four there's instead. There's a lot of room there. So but anyway. Then you two pegs that you're competing with then? Yeah, I just felt it was an uphill struggle to get near anyone. But anyway, it was what it was. I still, if it was really poo, I thought there was a chance. Yeah, yeah. Like 40, 50 pound, yeah, you can play. It just turned out not to be. But I had a lovely day anyway. I what have you gone for? Is it all still left ones? Or yeah. I remember them being a few ids in that one. No, no, no ids. No ids. It, they've well gone, Andrew. Well, well, well gone, all it's the ids. It is. An odd carp and F ones. Right. And I've started dead negative, micros and expanders. Want to chuck of these new little stockies. Oh, lovely. Same as everywhere else. Yeah. Caught them for an hour. Um, then I've got this little gang of stick ups here. And they are dancing, it'd be a. Oh, like proper, I'm here, J-Lad, I'm here, come and fish for me. It was solid. I was like, wow, there's a lot right, of fish there. But right. I left it, I thought, I'll go and nab them in a bit. And they were big twitches as well, I thought they'd carp them. So I've got it on bread, never moved. What? Never moved. And I'm putting it next to a stick, never moved, next to a stick, next, never it's moved. Probably because you've caught every single fish in your wide world ever at tunnel Just on that bread. And they're like, weird. no, J-Lad, not today. Oh, unreal. But anyway, went in a bit, never had a bite. So, right, I'll put some pellets over there, put some pellets over there. Fair shock, eight pound carp on pellets. Thought, right, I hate you, fish are horrible and all of that. Caught a couple on hard pellets. What, just dobbing again with the pellets? No, no, fishing. On the bottom? Fishing. Right. You know, hard pellets, tapping five in, sit there, wait, clunk. Caught a couple on that. And then I've done all sorts. I've catted maggots across on the far bank. I caught well on that. Like an odd fish, catch two or three, come off it. But my whole match, like the, the last three hours of my match, was all about my edges and my short oh, right, lines. Okay. I've had my short line as you do with maggots. Ma yeah, yeah. They've swirled in my edges for the last three hours. Come catch him. F ones. Dummy titting. Oh, Jay. Big lad. old moody, clever. Just mm. dummy heading. And they do that a lot on Newpool. They're often tricky to catch. And it's because there's only one in your peg, or it's these little ones. Right, that was the okay. mistake I made. I fished um, ground bait and maggots, and it were wrong. I should have tapped in micros and expanders. Just Once I like... swapped to expanders, I caught an odd fish. Right. Okay. But my pegs were just scatty. And I never, I caught all right. I mean, I caught a couple of carp and last hour I caught well short. And So obviously with them swirling, they're in shallow water. They're in have, that. You, have you got to drop into like a little bit deeper and to catch them all? Are you still... No, you've just got to be patient because they're coming behind. I'm fishing that far off the bank anyway because it's oh, this. They're coming behind the float. They're just pain in the arse. And I'll, yeah, there have been a way of catching a lot of fish and I got it wrong. Oh, gee. Not I like you though, mate. I should have just... Honestly, though, wouldn't you? That's how you've got to be. It's just not being there and not knowing how it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think if I'd have tapped in micros and expanders instead of 
ground bit of maggots mm. and I caught a lot of stockies early on and then it had gone to the bigger old fish later right. on. And yeah, that, yeah. But anyway, I weighed in, what the way? 65 pound, Ben Lockwood one section, Ben Lockwood all the lad on one, Ben Lockwood one section on seven. Yeah. I'm going to say 85, maybe 86. And the Chapman Peg one had 84. I think it was two pound between them. Or a pound, do you know what I mean? They were 20 pound ahead of me. I don't think I could have caught that. So it's quite a few fish that day. A lot of fish. I don't think I could have caught that. Do you know what I mean? It was mm. far enough for me to think. Mm. And I got lucky as well because Chris Lane to my right was only two pound behind me. Oh, so I could have easily come fourth and yeah, then yeah, yeah. real game over then. Yeah. So I was lucky with that. But first day, bit of a disappointment. Couldn't win after that. I didn't think I could win after that. Yeah. So then it's all about winning section next two days and doing as well as we could. Sorry to interrupt you folks. Please, please, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. And then that will remind you to watch our fantastic videos. Yeah. Second day, I've drawn another, I've done, drawn right weird ones this in the festival. I drew 38 on high pool. Again, never ever been on that bit. High. Never seen it. I mean, yeah, you've never, no, seen, high never seen high pool. It's the one that's all high up. Is that why it's high pool? So it's high it's <laughs> on top of the hill. Why is um, new pool like new pool when it's not new though? It because it, it's irony, isn't it? Yes, I like that. <laughs> that. 38 high pool. Um it's the first peg in the best section. Oh, best, right, okay. The best bit of high pool, other than peg 15, that is the holy grail is that of the pegs one you up tunnel bar. Yeah, I've been on that a bit. <laughs> but I didn't draw that in these three days, right, funny good. enough. Oh, no, I did draw does two it, 15s. It still, still done well though, that peg. Is that the peg that you've got to draw? That 15, is it? Oh that. That's joke for a peg. Oh, but right, I, I didn't get near that all weekend. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, I've drawn 38 and it's the first peg in with the 40s and to peg 50. Right. So 50, 48, 46. That section? I'd say the worst peg in a section oh, nearly. Minute, but what are you doing I had drawing some room. like that, mate? Yeah, it's not a bad peg though. It's just, or well, it is normally a bit moody. It's just in with ridiculous pegs. Right, okay. Right, I think um, Lee Bennett had been second in the match of 50 the day before. Yanni had been third in the match off 48. You know what I mean? That, it's weird, that's the winter epicenter. It's opposite 15. Ah, oh, right, okay. So it tends yeah. to be, that's where you want to be. The only thing I was, I was on 38, and then I've had no one till 33. Oh, so you've had a bit so of I've room. had a bit of room, but Alan, Alan's been Alan. on 33. Nice. So, <laughs> did he fish Lake and Lee? <laughs> he definitely did. He did see green woodpecker off. I remember you saying that. And let me know. <laughs> Jamie, I've just seen a green woodpecker. <laughs> Love it, go on, Al. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. I've had a bit of room, and Kerry had caught 100 pound, I think, Kerry Kirkwood. Oh, right, okay. He'd been on it the day before, caught 100 pound. What, on your peg? Yeah, I think he was third or fourth oh, in right. section. Oh, blooming it, so... Yeah, it it fished really well, that yeah, was the problem yeah. with it. But, I got lucky again. I mean, the wind had turned easterly. It was an easterly wind, but there was none. So, like, the muck was coming my way, no ripple or nothing. So, like this, just, no ripple, but, like, yeah. you can feel there's a bit of a wind. Yeah, right. just a little sexy breeze was coming my way. It wasn't cold, it was still really warm, still satin t-shirt, and it just felt like it brought a few... Ooh. Oh wait, it was nice. nice. Um, started in the edge, caught a carp and two little stocky F1s, not going anywhere really. And Kerry had said to me he'd not been across. All oh, right. And you've got like... Is it wider we... up there, Jay? Is it like... Full... No, it's, it's 60 metres tight across. Right. But all I've got is a two metre bit of island and then it cuts off. So there's people actually sat on my island fishing that way and I have this little face to fish on, right weird bit. Like a little babier thing like that? And no, I it, it, I'm fishing to where... Well, Christian sat there and Jimmy Brooks has sat there fishing that way and I'm fishing to almost up their edge, but they can't get to where I am. It's a funny bit. Right. You know what I mean? You'd have had to see that to understand how it is. But Kerry hadn't been across, so I thought, right, I'll have a little go. I've gone in in four and a half foot across on hard pellets, and I've 30 pound in half an hour. What? I caught like can't. six of them big ones. Oh, They've just been sat there, nice and quiet. So mega, mega start, caught a few on that. That fizzled, never caught on that again. And then that's been a dead simple day again. I've just rotated my edge, that did right this time. Oh, right, with micros and expanders, and I caught loads and loads of little stockies, stockies, but I could drop on it, catch like four, yeah. come off it, and four would go three pound. Oh, right, okay. Not so keep doing stocky. that yeah, right. all the time. I, I fed meat short, I swapped that catch to maggots. Catch on meat, cock. Did didn't you catch ca on meat? Didn't catch on meat, cock. Oh, caught four right. on meat, one right. As soon as I started feeding maggots, it started pimping. Right. But I did it too close. I fed what maggots, I fed maggots there on top four. Oh, right, okay. But I've also fed them with a catty at eight metres there which is nearly the same depth, and I caught really well on that last hour. Whereas on that one, I'd go on it, there'd be fish there, it'd take a while and I'd get one. If I'd have done that there instead, that's what I should have done. Two lines left and right, just take down. The last two hours was solid, like lovely, just catching nice, all sorts. Oh, uh, everything. Yeah, an odd one like that, an odd, just nice, really, really nice. Amazing. I had a lovely day. I got lucky in one section. Good way, Jay, I had 106 pounds, which nice. was second in the match, but Jimmy, Jimmy Brooks, who's there, yeah. fishing that way. What's Jimmy on? Yeah, Christian must have been on 20, 
Jimmy's on 23. Do you know what I mean? In this section, not the best bet. He's in a different section, Jimmy. He had 109. Oh, but he's fishing the nice. same water as me yeah, that yeah, yeah. we were in the right bit. Yeah. But if I'd have just put that a bit further out there, mm. I'd have won. I don't know if I could have caught biggest weight. Don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. It's another 20 is pound. It, that were doable. Is that, is that what's won biggest weight of the week? That, is that what you mean? No, Jimmy yeah. didn't win. Um, I forget the chap's name that won biggest weight, but he had 124 pounds. Oh, so you get some more tokens for that That's as well? Absolutely a grand. Oh, flipping heck. Right, I could have okay. done that. Bloody hell, Jay. I didn't realise they did yeah, that as well. I could have done that. Oh, the, the money's ridiculous. Right, okay. I mean, for, for winning that, sec or coming second on that day, I think I won like 500 quid. The money is a joke, Andrew. An utter okay, joke. But no, anyway, so, good. I've got, I'm in the gang again now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you on now? Four points. Four points. And it? Two points? <sighs> yeah, there were. Or was it three points? Oh, what, what the perfect score this time, was it? No, no one finished with a perfect score. The second day, I'm going to say two points. I'm not going to remember who they were. Go on, Jay, lad. Don't matter, mate. Two points. I think Scott Bond had two points. So you're in top. Richard's on it. Go Richard's on, on it. I apologise to so people. I'm not being rude or anything. I just, I can't remember yeah. shit. So anyway. So what are you in top ten? Two then? people. Two I was eighth. Oh, right. And okay. I was like, oh, that's, mm. didn't expect that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, quite a few people on three points. Obviously, you the way they're two. Me, it? You know what I mean? You had a decent weight. That, that, that's the thing. I was up. I was up there with the weight, which was very good. Yeah, two people on two points. The rest on three. I was top of the four pointers. Because of my weight. Yeah. And I've gone in, I've done another 15, but wrong 15, I've done 15 on top, which tops my favourite like a tunnel. Is that right at the top? It's at the bottom, ironically. But is no, it it's, not, it's not the bottom <laughs> bottom. It's a nice top called Top Pool, is yeah. That, I've never seen top either. It's the top of the fishery, I suppose, Top Pool, isn't it? If It's like the furthest point away from the house, that's why it must be Top Pool. Right, but anyway, right. I've drawn Top Pool, I've drawn 15, which is on the lilies. Dead good section peg was made up. Actual like proper tension cruise lilies. Oh proper oh, horrible on. lilies, Andrew. Big massive lily bed all at 30 like meters. Poplars. Here. That, them kind yeah, of yeah, lilies. exactly the same. Big oh, massive horrible it. rig right, robbers. Right. I've had them there and it was horrible. Um weather was horrible. It were 20 mile an hour easterly, but easterly there was sort of off my back. It's blowing down this way, but it's not. It's yeah, yeah, got another I, shot. I'm comfy, yeah, yeah. I can fish. Yeah. So again, different peg altogether. It'd been crap that the day before, I think. Peg 20 had won the section the day before with 48 pound, but then my peg, I forget who was on my peg, Steve Lovell had been on my peg, he had 38 pound, he'd been third, and then James Howard had been on the next peg to my right, 13, yeah. 12, 13, he'd been second, so it was top three, oh, right, okay. top three in section had yeah. been my end, so I was like, right, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Which, the day before, peg one had won the match in the bowl, so I was like, ah, if the fish in the bowl, you're knackered. Yeah, yeah. Like, proper knackered, but they weren't, it seemed, that they, they were, were up like, our end. Yeah, nice. So I was happy. Had a horrible match, like proper horrible. Caught a few in the edge early, that was good. Um, in never... what way, losing fish because of the lilies yeah. and things then? Oh, Just right, frust okay. frustrating, oh, doorbell. Yeah. Frustrating <laughs> and me not doing things right. <laughs> Professional as always, Professional folks, as mean? always, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Should have had a chat with him. Um, what am I on about? Yeah, it's when I've gone to the lilies that things have gone tits off. Right, but you felt you've had to go there because that's where the fish are back to. get a bite. Right. Listen, I caught some down the edge. I couldn't see down the edge. It was just horrible light. So there's still oh, a nod right, in there, okay. but I, get it this time, yeah. I literally couldn't fish my edge after right. that, where there was a few. Um, fish style pellets on the lilies. I caught odd fish all day, but I'd catch two, catch three, and then one would do me in the lilies, but they're only them. Just like taking in there. But, because I'm fishing light, I'm fishing 012, and I'm fishing 1.6 slick. 1.6, 1. 6, 1. 6, yeah, 1.6, so 10 to 12. It's a the decent orange, still. The orange one? No, the next one down, the red one. The red one, right. I mean, orange would be a bit too. So you've got to, though, presumably, to get the bites in the first to place. To get a bite, light, yeah. Because they're only them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, an odd. Pain. And I've, I've lost my shit too much. I've been proper shouting and screaming, oh, and yeah. I've proper lost it. Yeah, I've done a Lewis. <laughs> Just, it was awkward and nasty, and I never felt I was catching anything. Right. But I have done. I've weighed 68 pounds. Which were mega. But I suppose when you're in that uh, scenario, when you've got to like pull like mad and be quick to get away from the lilies, you're putting them in your net and you oh, you're not paying any attention. Fish, you're not paying attention. You just. Well, I, I've got lucky with some big ones as well. I caught right. one eight pound and I caught. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But at sixty eight pound, which I made up with, you know, and I took that at the start. But Andy Hodge had been on peg five in the gap. All the fish seemed to be on the gap. He'd had. Uh, what did Andy have? I'm going to say 77. 70 odd. I'm going to say seventy seven. He won section. Fair play to Andy. He was in the same position as me as well. He was on four points. Oh, right. So he needed to win yeah, yeah. to guarantee himself. I think Andy came sixth in the end, yeah. sixth or seventh. Don't know. But anyway, well done to him. But the fish were definitely in the gap because he's had 77. Peg 8 had 61. So I got lucky. But I could have won. Really, really could have won. And if I had won, I got lucky. I finished 10th overall. But yeah. if I'd have won, 
that section, I'd have been third overall. Oh, I'd have been third on weight because the way it finished, tight as ever, ridiculously tight as ever. Always at random events, yeah. Oh, tight. mate, he's paid top twelve, six points got in. So Bagger was last in the money with six points in twelve. Yeah. Then Jimmy, then me. I was lucky. I was the biggest weight of the six pointers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So three of us got in with six points, and then it was five points up until third. Oh, right, okay. So it Christian's third. Christian's come third. third. Christian was the best weight of the five pointers. Yeah. He did well on the last day. He drew a dodgy one last day and won a section. Oh, good. He drew six on high pool, which is in with fifteen. So you shouldn't ever win that section. But oh, fair right, play so to him, he won that section. Um, and then the top two. I forgot already. Lee Giles won it. Lee Giles. Scott Bond was second. Yeah. Four points. He had four points. He had four points. It's on weight. Definitely, definitely on weight. Yeah. Christian was top of five. Scott Bond was next on four points. And Lee Giles won on Brilliant. four points as well. I don't know where Lee actually drew. I know he was on that, the island on. I don't know where Lee drew. But anyway, you, the people that you're fishing against. Just a joke, It doesn't matter. Fair play if you win, you've done mega. Ridiculous. And they Unbelievable. Have it's an that. awesome event. Oh, Nothing it's so to good. Get on them. So, so good. And the amount of money paid out, it's a joke. Brilliant. Like, isn't it? wow. A joke. If you can frame every day. I mean, they pay everything. They pay your section, they pay your lake, they pay overall. They pay like top seven overall every day. Like 100 quid for seven. Really? It's a joke. That is amazing. Like, ridiculous, ridiculous amount of money. But yeah, fair play to. Who's run that one then? Tom's run that one. Tunnel Barn, um, of course. Catch More Media and Gazza's. What's Gazza's one? On the flyer. On the flyer. All together have been there. They, they just run a lovely event. Nice, efficient, weighed in quick. I was owned by half six every day. Drove a lot of miles, Andrew. There's lots of miles done in them three days for you, Jay, lad. Wow, a lot of driving, but... But with all the rubbish that went on, to be oh, fair, that, you know what I mean? That's yeah. horrendous what went on. Don't, um, don't go into that. That makes no. things sad. Yeah, no, it's horrible. But yeah, no, travelling it. It's nice as well, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? You should do that. It's that a good time. event. You've got to come play on that one. Yeah, I'll have a do on that, definitely. I'll have a do, but yeah. Well that, done, Jay, lad. That's been my final big event of the year, hasn't it? Big carpy event. Oh, no, we've got Old Up Final. But that was pretty much me last. Yes. Thing of the year, and now we've got all the final to look forward to that you're going to qualify for tomorrow. Fingers By crossed, quadruple bacon default. butties and Kevin the Caravan first, and then uh, go and draw a flyer and qualify. Is that planned tomorrow? I don't, to be fair. So, most of the people fishing it tomorrow, folks, that they've qualified, so I might end up finishing last and qualify. Just turn it up and you get in. I caught one, Ca catch a Gary the Goose on, and go back to Kevin the Caravan. <laughs> That's it, done. Go ahead, Jay. I don't brand sauce on that, but now well done, Jamie. Good performance yeah. again. It's, it's a lot of these big events with the caliber of angler, it's luck as well, and it's got to have that bit of luck. Yeah, no, sometimes but you have it. I've had a time. chance and not took it. No, I don't know. No, no. Things go against you, don't they? Things yeah. like that. I couldn't have won, but I should have been third. Well, you've done well, mate. Yeah. All good. Go ahead, Jay, lad. Okay, then, you lovely lot. So, we've got brand new merch in stock for you all. We've got new caps, new hoodies, and new t shirt. Check out the website, it's www.winningways.shop.